Hey guys, how are you doing? Gasparri from the Geek Home. Um, so this is just a little bit of a chat about uh, magic and some things regarding magic local scene and then also with regards to organized play and uh, so forth. Um, this is just me speaking uh, my thoughts, some of my random thoughts. Um, you might not agree with me, you might agree with me, everybody disagrees and agrees. That's a, a you know, normal, civilized culture is a culture. I don't know, whatever. Community is about. We discuss things in a in a uh, polite and open fashion. We don't always agree, but that's just how it works. Before I get into that, though, just a reminder: our Duskmon pre-orders are now open on our website. You can go check that out, geekum.co.za. Um, and then, yeah, we run a store in Monetta Park, Pretoria. Um, and we sell Magic the Gathering and lots of other type of stuff. Uh, Dustborn is the upcoming uh, set, the new set coming out, I think, next month. Uh, so the pre-orders are up for that. Check it out on our website. We ship all over South Africa. We have good pricing. And, uh, yeah, we uh, try our best to also do some supportive stuff with when it comes to the community as far as we can. Um, so, regarding um, some things which have recently happened, uh, primarily um, to do with uh, the store championship. So, the store championship, if you don't know, is a event, um, an event which is run a um, certain period after um, the release of a new set. So the upcoming one is the Bloomborough um, Store Championship, which is the uh, Bloomborough was obviously the new set that just came out a little while ago. Um, and then there's now the Store Championship for that coming up. So there's quite a few nice promos up for grabs for that. Um, and a lot of the, and some of those promos are not exactly standard because <laughs> they aren't uh well specifically i think like the the, the, the winner promo um i'm not too sure about the other ones but i'm not going to focus on all of that too much right now um because that's not really the issue i think as such just um so the store championship has to be done in standard format now this used to be different where they did sort of a changing around format where it was standard and then modern and then a few other things. Um, well, it was standard and modern mostly. I think they switched it around with and then Pioneer also, although I don't know who plays Pioneer really. Uh, but and really, well, okay, no, let's not let's not start. So um, with that now, so I think. Um, the thing is, so the idea with that they're making it standard now, they're trying to always have it be standard, is because standard has been suffering for a long time. Um, I'd say, it's hard to say when it started. It's well, Standard has always had its problems, uh, primarily because I personally think sta they nev they've never listened to what people have told them about standard. They didn't listen to them for an incredibly long time. Um, that uh, the, ne the rotation needed to be longer and all this. And so, you know, I've made some of those changes. They did make the rotation longer. And um, I'm not going to say, I mean, I can't comment on how fun or not fun it is to play standard. I've heard people say it's fun to play standard, which is fine. Um, but the problem is standard, standard took such a long, such a hit for such a long time, especially I think COVID was one of the big problems also, shut lockdowns and stuff. It did a, it, it hit, you know, events like uh, running F&Ms and stuff like that, and it never, re never really recovered after that. Um, and the strategy they've been following to try and get people to play standard now again is unfortunately, it's just unfortunately not a strategy that I think can work, because the problem is there's a misunderstanding, I think, going on about why people play Magic. Um, and now everybody has different motivations for, for doing something. I'm not going to argue that. Some people like being competitive. Some people want to win prizes. I don't know. Some people want to try and make a living out of a competitive thing like that, which is not really a possibility for magic anymore. But 
Um, that is pretty much sort of, the, the, there are different reasons. But the primary reason why most people play Magic, the primary number one reason, is simply because they want to have fun. They want to play something and enjoy it. And um, just want to have fun with their friends, with people they know, with communities or whatever. That, that's the ultimate goal of most people when they start playing any game. And the accessibility of a thing for you to be able to do that is incredibly important. So if I walk into a store and I look at the magic products that they have, there needs to be a very accessible way to that avenue of fun for me. So uh, there needs to be, okay, can I buy this product and I do this with it. So I buy a commander deck, I play commander with it. Buy a starter deck, I play very starter-like casual games with it. Whatever. Um, and the problem with standard is, and the big part of the problem with magic is the approach to how they've approached standard is now to try and force people to try and get them to play in events by having in certain incentives like I mean promos and stuff which is fine it's cool it's a, it's a nice idea but there's, there's not a good structure really around it because a lot of those promos are not promos within standard uh, you know if that, those types of promo things are usually things more people have been playing a while more will want they're not things that will get new people to play um, and if they're just nice to haves, it's very relative. And if they're not even legal in that format, then it's once again just a thing for value. Um, so I think it's much, if when you approach promos, you have to approach it in a manner of, okay, it needs to be within the format that you're you know, trying to run the event for, which is first of all problematic. And then, um, you have to have an extreme accessibility to a format in order to make it work, really. Um, and now, let's look at the different formats we have, which we currently run that, that are existent as a thing. We have Commander. A Commander is effectively considered the baseline of magic now. There is a lot of Commander products that come out. There's Commander decks with every set. There's different Commander additionals that come out all the time. So, so Commander is a very accessible thing because you can buy a deck like that, even play it out of the box, maybe change it a bit. There you go. Very accessible, has a bit of a high price point. That's the biggest issue for a starter thing because, I mean, it is a bit expensive for new people to start on that type of level of like 1,000, 300, 400, whatever rand. It is, that's expensive for somebody to duly start that way, but it has a lot of accessibility to it because of those very specific, not, and many of them really nice products, which I as a store owner can sell you. I can be like, hey, here, buy this deck. And then we have Commander on Thursday nights, Friday nights, Saturdays. There you go. Just come play. You don't have to pay for anything for the event. It's casual most of the time. Sometimes we have more organized, but it's so it's accessible, really nicely accessible. You have only a little bit of a ban list. You can use all the cards, most of the cards, and yeah, stores might have specific rules about what you're allowed to play to not make it like sour experiences or anything. But there you have it. And within Commander, you have your different setups of Dual Commander, and you have CDDH and so forth also. So a very nice, open type format, which makes it accessible for people to get into. It is not a feeder format in any type of way for any other format, though. So it is an isolated format in many ways. It exists as it, a thing in within itself, which is different, in my opinion, to the other formats, especially to f like, command, like standard and modern. I'm not even going to talk about legacy and all because what it's meaningless. Um, standard and modern are, in my opinion, coexistent formats. And now modern people are going to not necessarily be, be, be happy with me saying that, but it's, I'm not, so let me just make my point. So modern, at this stage we have, we have two formats that run our store. We have commander, obviously, and then we have modern, which are our primary formats of magic that we run. And then obviously yeah, deal commander, but I'm not gonna like split it off into different things now. So we have modern, okay? 
And we have consistent turnout when we do modern events. Modern people are playing consistently. It's usually more of this, it's very much the same type of crowd. There is not new people really coming into it. Um, but they are very consistent. And they are very consistent in playing and then they're consistent with the way that, that they approach it, etc. Yes, we've had some problems with certain individuals. Uh, we have very strict rules when it comes to behaviorals at our store because we want to make sure our community um, is conducive to a nice environment to play in. Uh, that's just how it is. Um, I'm not going to mince words about that. Um, I want you to come here and have fun. If you're doing things that prevent other people from having fun in any type of way, such as um, uh, degenerate behaviors, then you can please get on a stick and get right out of here. Okay, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Digressing from the point. So that's our modern. We have a consistent modern. Okay? We want to make sure people like playing the modern, we enjoy running the modern. We run modern a bit different than we would usually have always run standard. We, standard we used to run at a completely like cost level where we only always when we, run, when we charge money for an event. We don't we always just try and break even on it, give the prices out because of what standard was, which I'll get into now. With modern, uh, we try to make a little bit of profit in our events because it's a competitive thing, not, but we're still not making like a lot of profit out of the event. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit, runs a little bit differently. It's more of a competitive thing. Okay. Now, so modern is, a, is in itself also more of an isolated format though, because it functions on the level of competitive players. You can't start playing modern when you're a new player just off the bat. It, Oh, well, you, I, you can, but it's not going to work nice for you because and you're not going to necessarily enjoy it unless you really enjoy just losing uh, or you really want to, you have the money to go and spend, you know, whatever amount it costs to spend on getting a competitive level modern deck, which is usually like, like 10k at least or more. Um, you know, most people aren't going to do that to get into, most people want to just start with a competitive format. You want to build through the stages of getting into different levels of format by starting at a specific starter level and then you're moving up. So that's where standard comes in. Now standard was always the feed for us to get new people to play magic and to play whatever else in magic. Because standard is supposed to be the entry level format for other formats. Um, so you had a product like intro decks, planeswalker decks, challenge decks, those types of products we could sell people, they could systematically get into it. You could, you had these levels which we could go through, move through and then get up to and then you could get into more like getting into a more competitive level, which was nice for us as a store because we can sell stuff to people, which is kind of, you know, important. And then also it gave people stepping stones to get up. And now when you get to that level, you might say, ah, I should not have started with doing this and buying all of these singles. And yeah, sure, but how are you supposed to know that when you're here? You're here, you need to have the knowledge of that here. It doesn't work that way. You need the levels. Those little stepping stones make you into an actual real player where this is a noob. This is an actual player. You can't just go from here to there. It doesn't work. It doesn't work like that in any profession. Anybody who's ever walked a professional job will know that's not how it works. Uh, or done anything which is competitive in terms of any skill basis. That is just not how it works. Yes, some people have natural talents from the start, which gives them competitive edges, but th that's just, generally speaking, not how it works. And standard is an entry-level thing. We could get people into it, build them up through the events that it had, and then they could get into a deeper level of magic from that point once they're into those levels. Now, the problem started, like I said, first of all, when uh, the lockdown thing that I have impacts in terms of now, I think Wizards started approaching magic. Um, and then after that, they seem to have a much more... Um, random st strategy when it came to product releases also. Um, and there, unfortunately, is no longer any product I can sell any person that comes into my store and just wants to play normal magic and normal standard. Now you're going to say, oh, but you can sell them a starter decks. 
do you really think having the same starter deck and selling the same starter two starter decks to everyone is a way in order to get more people to play in a format when those starter decks themselves are not even as good as the old type of intro and planeswalker decks and those things um you need something that's at least relatively decent to start off with there is no product there simply is not there is nothing commander and commander is a complete disconnection from the other formats the majority of product decks are for commander you have the starter decks which aren't an, a thing that you're going to put somebody like okay, a starter decks then playing standard that's silly it just doesn't work because it's the same thing um, and some of the starter decks like the assassin's creed starter deck is not even a standard thing anyway um and then you know so same with the lord of the rings one it there is no and we're not even getting with Taskmorn. so just explain to me what products i'm supposed to when a person walks into my store and says i want to play standard what am i supposed to sell them boosters Jumpstart, which is no longer a thing almost anyway. There is some new Jumpstart coming out, but Jumpstart is such a random thing. It's not really actually meant for the thing that they make it out to be. There's no product starter thing that I can sell people, which is a diversity of product to it, like the old intro packs had and those things. And they weren't brilliant. I'm not going to say they were brilliant, but I sold a lot of them and got a lot of people to play Magic through them. I personally think if you were a store and selling a lot of those, you're just not good at selling intro products. I'm sorry. I sold tons of those things because I knew how to approach getting new people into it with those types of products. Because they are good products to get people started with. Um, so, what am I supposed to do? Must I now sit and build decks for people then? Which, fine, I guess we can do. We already do like budget packs, but why am I supposed to create the product which they're supposed to give me to get new people to play their format? A format that they apparently really want us to run, since they're making all the store jam standard, and they're giving us standard showdown promos and stuff. But when I put up events for those, nobody shows up because nobody's playing the format. So what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to get new people to play when you don't provide me with the abilities, the products needed for me to get people to really play? And then the events. The promos and events, like I said, are not, they're not focused towards really getting people to play standard. If you want to have people getting to standard again from an event perspective, not from just a product perspective, like I just said, an event perspective, bring back the old Friday Night Magic structure, give us the nice promos we had for standard, which we gave out on a weekly basis, incentivize people to play more through incentivized promos of more activity. And make them nice. Excuse me. I'm a little bit sick. Um, no, I'm, I'm recovering. Um, but make them nice promos. Just make it something decent. It doesn't have to be the best God, but make them something decent. Make it something that's played by people. Make it something that people can be excited about. Stop doing this thing where things are mediocre. And the approach seems so random and forceful that it's not organic in any type of way. Because the only way it works is, and this is the most important word Wizards needs to, sorry, I don't want to name call out, but they need to learn, is organic. It needs to be organic. It needs to be from a player and up basis. Player, store, distributor, or distributor really matters with any, you know, structures really, but uh, Wizards of the Coast. That's how the line should run. They should be getting their data from there, from the players. What do the players want? It shouldn't be a thing of Wizards decides what the players need and wants and just gives that to them, forcing the player to do that. It should be, let's look at what the players want, the players are saying, what the stores are saying, and then us creating products around those as best we can. And you find a middle ground that works. Because I feel like you used to do that, but you just stopped doing that and you just piling in whatever and some of it's nice i think bloomberg was a, good, a nice set it's not a power set or anything but it's a nicely themed set i think it's better than the stuff we got before and there's some nice products there's i like a lot of the commander decks the starter decks are actually nice but we need more than that if we're going to get standard going we need other things we need things which are standard products we can get people into standard then 
if you're going to try and force people to play in a format, like you're trying to do with the store championships, because it's quite obvious to me almost what they're trying to do with store championship. You're trying to force people who are playing modern and other formats to play standard. Now, you're going to get some people that might get f go for that, but the vast majority are not going to. Because it's ex expensive to play modern, and most of them just go build modern decks. So just putting expensive promos in and thinking that's going to get them to play standard is not working. Because here's the other problem. I don't want all the modern guys to play standard, because standard is supposed to be for newer players. Those modern guys are very competitive. If they play against newer players, they're going to annihilate them, and many of them just won't want to play then. It should be focused towards us creating a new type of player bases then. Yes, you can have some people come over because they think the format is nice. You'll have those experienced players. And then you'll have a basis to start from to get <coughs> excuse me, new people starting and playing as having a stronger standard again, which you'll have to do some format changes to, which I'm not going to get into now. Um, and then you have the feeder from standard to modern again. So, I think there's a lot Wizards really needs to just go and do introspection about. Because it needs to be, your focus needs to start being a player-centric and store-centric approach. You're looking, you're getting your data from what the players and the stores want, and you're building your products first around that, and you're building your events around that. Why don't you want to do as much as possible to make the players happy and make the stores happy that sells the products? That's what I've always found confusing. Because if they're happy and there's, it means if those two bases, are, if the stores are happy and the players are happy, it will mean that you're selling stuff and your customer base is happy, which is a good thing. Why aren't you doing that? Why is that not the primary focus? And that's the problem. Like, until we get to a level where the, that focus really changes, that I think we're still going to have issues with getting standards going. We need, the changes need to happen. And I think it's, it's inevitable that if you keep on trying to force people to play this format, People get negative about it, like we've had in a re some recent discussions on some WhatsApp groups, where people feel you're not doing anything for them, because you aren't doing anything for modern. There is nothing for modern. And then you know, a lot of very dedicated people have been playing the game for a very long time. Why do you want to make them feel you're not doing anything for them? Why don't you have like a modern why don't you have a modern store championship and a standard store championship then? I don't understand it. I mean, the amount of promo printing and stuff should be negligible in the in the bigger picture, especially when you consider making your customers happy and making your customers feel good about the game. It's just a very good marketing exercise. It's very confusing. I don't understand why you don't want that. Why do you feel that you can only make one group of people happy? Or you only have to focus on one type of thing. Or, you know, you have commander and you have standard. You can't have focusing on, you know, everything to make everything work nicely. And have products that work for, for those things structured within your releases. Have things for standard. You have your stuff for modern. You have already have a lot of stuff for commander. If it's good quality, if people like it and they enjoy it, they will buy it, they'll start playing the game more, you'll have more people playing, you'll have happy customers, happier stores, everything. There we go. Easy. Well, not necessarily easy, but I think it's the direction to try and go in. Anyway, um, that was pretty much my... Uh, slightly too long take on this um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video <laughs> please like and subscribe please check out those pre-orders check out our, our website geekom.co.za check out our store in Pretoria uh, I will see you in the next video whatever that might be and I hope you have a lovely day and weekend and week thank you very much